Good morning, um, or good afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this video. Um, as you can tell, I have cats. See, right this way. I have cats. Um, I'm at home. I'm not with you today. But um, I am still going to get you ready for your poetry test that's either tomorrow or the following day, depending on the ASVAB. Um, so I'm sorry I'm not with you today. Um, not feeling well, I need to take a day off, but I'm still going to be available for you today. So if you have any questions about anything we're doing, please send me an email or share a document to me. Um, I'll get you taken care of. I'll be here to help you out. But, um, so what you're doing today, if you have not already clicked on the presentation in your Google Classroom, you're going to, the presentation has kind of step-by-step instructions for what you're doing. So if you haven't done that yet, then you can click on it, present it to yourself, kind of review it. But this is the first slide of the presentation. So I want you to watch this before going over the rest of the steps. But um, if you have somehow clicked on this video otherwise, then just know that you've got to look at that presentation today. Um, today you're going to be reviewing, starting off by reviewing that annotation and analysis assignment that we started on Thursday. So it's the one where you annotate and then... You've got a couple of questions at the end. There's about four or five poems to do. So if you'll get those done until you feel comfortable annotating and analyzing. Once you feel comfortable, you can quit. You're not turning that in or anything. Um, so you can skip that if you want to, but I would suggest you go to it. Okay, I'll be picking in on those today throughout the class periods. So I'd like for you to be there um, doing that. But then you're going to be writing an analysis. So you're going to have to find a poem to analyze, write an analysis for it, and you're like, crap. What is that? It's nothing complicated, okay? You're just going to be selecting a poem, and I've got a couple of links for you in order to help you find a poem. Um, but you're going to be selecting a poem um, for one of those links, something that you like. It cannot be Daybreak in Alabama, I Heard a Fly Buzz When I Died, Safe in Their Alabaster Chambers, Untitled, 16, um, Party Time, or Dreaming the Day After Daniel, Chapter 1. So you can't use any that we've already analyzed in class, obviously. All right, but any of those other poems are fair game. Um, any other poem in the world is fair game. What you're going to be doing is choosing a poem and writing an analysis for it. Writing an analysis is not hard. It's a good idea to start by annotating the poem. And then once you've annotated... <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Once you've annotated the poem, then you can start asking yourself questions about it, answering those questions, maybe sending me some questions, maybe emailing some questions to a friend. And then you're going to take what you know about the poem. You're going to look at the poetic devices and the literary elements. So I'm going to name them off to you real fast. Rhyme, rhythm, meter, punctuation, capitalization, endpoints, stanzas, um, anything like that is a poetic element. And they're literary devices like repetition, irony, metaphor, alliteration, imagery, I mean onomatopoeia and hyperbole, personification, any of those things. Um, and you're going to take all those poetic elements and those literary devices and you're going to find the hidden or the deeper meaning and use those to kind of help find it. You're going to make the connection between the two. Um, so it's not really that hard. You're just reading a poem, analyzing it, and then writing down what you found. It's not hard, I promise. If you're unsure about what you're doing, just send me an email. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Okay? Then, um, but you're going to hold on to that. You don't turn that in today, but you're going to hold on to it until the test. Um, if you finish both of those things in about 15, 20 minutes, read. Read the rest of the period. Or work quietly. Um, today is not a day where you need to talk to your neighbor. Um, Miss Miller is, you know, it's not part of the assignment today. However, if you need to communicate with them, there's always email, okay? Um, or a shared document. You can just kind of keep a, like, conversation going. That there's another cat. Okay. But, um, so whatever the, um, whatever you need to do is fine, but be quiet, please. Thank you. Um, once again, I'm here if you need me. Um... But I hope to see you all soon, and um, I miss you. So have a great day. I'll talk to you later.